Lesson 10.1 is about basic constructions. In this lesson, we're going to learn three basic constructions. How to copy a segment, how to copy a given angle, and how to bisect a given angle. Okay, to copy a given segment to a new place, um, we're going to take segment A here, which has two endpoints, and we're going to copy it using only our compass and a straight edge. So the first thing to do is to draw a dummy line of an indeterminate length, just longer than segment A. And uh, that's what we're going to copy segment A onto. So then we take our compass radius, and we put the tip of the compass on one of the endpoints of segment A, and we adjust the radius until it's exactly the length of segment A. And I'll hit an arc mark there just to show uh, that I did, um, you know, use the radius of the compass to measure segment A. Then I'm going to put a point on my new dummy line, and I'm going to keep the compass radius exactly the same, and I'm going to make an arc mark um, and capture that length of A onto the new segment. Okay, for the next construction, I'm going to copy a given angle, and here we have angle A. It's an acute angle. It looks to be maybe, you know, 60 degrees or so. Uh, but we do this without a protractor. We just do this with a compass and a straight edge. So just like with copying the segment, I first put a dummy line. And I'm going to put a point on the line that's going to be the vertex of my new angle. So then I go to my original angle, angle A, that I want to copy, and I put the compass tip on the vertex of the angle. And I adjust it to just a convenient radius, something, you know, mid, maybe midway across those two rays and I make an arc with my uh, compass radius. I come down and I do the exact same thing on the dummy line, keeping that radius the same. I make approximately the same length of arc. Then I uh, take the, the tip of my compass on angle A and I put it on one side of, of where that arc intersects one side of the angle and I measure the distance across, and I hit an arc mark like so. I keep the radius tip the same. I put it in the same spot on, the, um, on my new angle and hit, hit the intersection mark like so. Then I could go ahead and connect from the vertex through that intersection, and I have thus copied angle A into the new space. Okay, and for the last construction, I'm going to bisect a given angle. So I'm, I'm looking at a, an angle here, and uh, it's an acute angle. Uh, I'm going to put the tip of my compass on the vertex of the angle, and I'm going to choose a convenient radius, something that's not too close to the vertex but not too far away either, and I'm going to make a nice arc that crosses both sides of the angle. Then, using each of these points, as anchors, I'm going to uh, choose a radius that's at least half the distance across the span of that angle. And um, first, anchoring on this bottom one, I'm going to make take my, uh, my compass and make an arc out in space here. And then I'm going to anchor on the other side and keep the radius the same and make an arc. And that point uh, in that arc is equidistant from uh, the sides of the angle. It's actually on the angle bisector. And so then I will connect through from the vertex through that point, and I will have bisected the angle into two congruent angles. And that's it.